it's Sunday and we're gonna go get something to eat. She's working hard at editing and she's working hard at making a mess, aren't you? <laughs> making a mess? What are you doing? Did you go through the tunnel? Lillian's feeling very grumpy today. But we're gonna go get something to eat. I don't know what we're gonna eat yet though. I'm in the mood for a burger or something. I'm gonna go get the big boy, the man of the house. Somebody, boy. I'm gonna go put you in the car. It's cold, my good boy. One Primark, I think, that opened up in New York City in America. But other than that, Primark is um, not in America and very popular here in the UK. And it's known for its fashionably low prices. Mm -hmm. um, but still, I think, the, in general, the, the quality is still higher than your Walmart or your mm -hmm. Dollar Tree store. So we've made videos about how we shop at Lidl and now we're saying we like Primark. Clearly, these are all on the lower price end. I've already expressed my views that I like to spend Save as little, money, yes. right? So, I'm more inclined to buy children's clothing at Primark because... You they're going to grow out of them. And, yeah, yeah. And, Whereas, if we're, if we're going to buy you a suit, okay? Yeah, we're not going to You're gonna not going to go to Primark for that. Where are we going? Paying for parking, I hate it. The thing about the UK is just you have to pay everywhere you park. What a hassle, what a pain. So for me, for Primark, I like to buy, because I've been pregnant and then not pregnant and pregnant and not pregnant. Pregnant, not pregnant, pregnant, yeah, not pregnant, pregnant. My jean sizes have fluctuated mm -hmm. and I think I'd rather just buy my jeans from Primark and not worry about those $60 jeans. And yeah. that you wear over and over and over again because yeah. I can't fit a lot of them. Yeah. My mom. Hey. Shopping, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if people are looking at me. I'm a vlogger, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to get a jacket for our daughter. We're gonna go to Primark. <laughs> It's cold out, but we don't care. And everyone's looking at us. We don't care. This whole segment is just you saying we don't care. We're holding a camera. That's right. This is a whole episode about how we don't care. How awkward it is to be vloggers in public. Here we are. So is there anything like Primark in the US? I don't think so. I is it Target. Didn't you work? Where was it that you worked? I can't remember. Express. Express wasn't like Primark? No. Express was no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Like their cheapest shirt would be like $20. Mm. And that's on sale. So mm. you could get it if, if they do another extra 30% off or whatever. Um, you could get a shirt for like $5, but that was on their... You know, clearance sale, extra yeah. markdown, markdown. If you're a size XXS and a XXL, you might be able to find something. But if you're anything in the middle, then... So we know. like Primark. I hate this store. I hate it with a passion. You don't like this store? I hate this store. Because you get lost in all the potential deals. Look those trousers. Those 10 pound trousers. You used to buy your shoes there, what happened? I did, yeah, but they would wear out so quickly. So the thing about shoes is in the U.S. work environment, shoe, fancy, really nice looking shoes was not a thing. At least in the engineering world. It's probably different in the uh, business world or lawyer world or corporate world, but in engineering, you came in with whatever shoes. It didn't Sneakers? Matter. Sneakers. Trainers? Many people came in with trainers. 
other people would wear hard, hard uh, toe shoes all the time, so those like aren't very stylish. Boots? Yeah. Like Timberlands. Like Timberlands, those khaki, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it wasn't a thing. Get me out of this hellhole. Get me out of this hellhole. I want to go home and read some books. <laughs> Here, four to five years size. Then there's that beige one. I don't like that. I like the pink one. Try the pink one on. It's okay. Try the pink one. Go grow into it. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that beautiful girl. I guess there's a reason why it's more expensive. Yeah. It what do you look think? Nicer. Yeah. What do you think? No. The restaurants, do they, do they have more of those big wooden signs that have like messages on them, like Bast Burger in Well, this was a weird whatever. one because it looked like a food court. It was open. quality burger. They taste good in both countries, but I would say it, it just looks a little bit healthier, less greasy here. so good at this They were better here, aren't they? They were much more flavorful. Like, I think in America, the Cajun fries are not as tasty. I don't know why. I was surprised that the people who took our order and stuff, they were cheery. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Was... They were very attentive, very mm. quick moving, yeah. and very cheery, so... Very unlike your and normal that's what makes UK me think customer service. It was a new, you know, it's a new mm. store they just opened, and mm. I think that's what it is. Mm. What else about the Five Guys experience? Well, I noticed the kinds of people that were there eating. Uh -oh. They were just they mm -hmm. were mainly young people, like university uh -huh. age people. Uh -huh. Lots of couples. Mm -hmm. it looks like they were out, you know, on a date. Like us. Yeah. A lot of biracial couples, actually. Like us. It's true. <laughs> and then a bunch of 
bunch of like young families, a couple young families. Yeah. And then a bunch of just yeah friends, a bunch of friends that were. It all seemed like a date hip, hot spot. Hip looking. Yeah. Well, we had our Sunday meal. It was a sinfully delicious Five Guys burger that will uh, go a long way towards deteriorating our bodily functions and biological organisms. But it was delicious. And she got a new jacket. Oh, what color is that one? Nice pink jacket for the nice girly girl. The nice girly girl in my life. The princess of my life. The apple of daddy's eye. Okay, if I could drive like this. <laughs> <laughs>